Hey everybody, today I'll be discussing about phonetic symbols for consonants and vowels. So in order to understand the phonetic symbols, uh, both for the consonants and vowels, we need to understand first of all that what is the meaning of phonetics. What do you mean by phonetics? So phonetics is a study of speech sounds. Well, when I say that it is a study of speech sounds, now here again a question comes that what do you mean by speech sounds? So basically there's a difference between sound and speech sound. Now first of all, let's discuss what do you mean by sound. Sound is any disturbance in the air or it can be termed as noise also. For example, if I'm clapping, then it is a sound, it is not a speech sound because a speech sound is a set of different sounds of a language. You can say that when language comes into the role, then we uh, call the sounds the speech sound. If it's any kind of sound like crying, clapping, screaming, then it's sound. It doesn't involve any kind of language. When it comes to the language, then whatever sound it is, we call it a speech sound. In English, there's a series from A to Z, which is known as the alphabet, in that there are 26 letters. Total, there are 26 letters, but 21 of them are consonants, whereas 5 of them are vowels. But if I speak about the phonemic sounds, then they are 44 in number. Because from the 21 consonants, we get 24 consonant sounds, and from the 5 vowels, we get 20 vowel sounds. As you can see on the screen that I've written, there are total 26 letters out of which 21 are consonants, 5 are vowels and from those 21 consonants we get 24 consonant sounds and from 5 vowels we get 20 vowel sounds. Now let's discuss in detail about these phonetic symbols for the consonants. So when I talk about phonetic transcription, so there are some basic rules that a person needs to follow when he or she is writing the transcription. So very first of them is you always need to write between two slanted lines. As you can see on the screen that there's some letters which are written between these two slanted lines. So this is basically the uh, rule of phonetics that we follow. Then there's another thing that you cannot use uh, cursive handwriting or uh, some kind of decorative handwriting or uh, capital letters. No, you have to imitate the transcription as it is. It is just uh, like the process of imitation. You have to copy it the way it is. So now on the right side of the screen, you guys can see that uh, there are some of the symbols. Then there are. Uh, then we have to guess that what is the sound of that symbol. And then there are some examples also to help you out to, so that you remember them that what we are speaking about. So I've written it in Hindi also uh, so that you remember it for a long time. Uh, but you need not write in uh, any kind of examination it in Hindi. Uh, it is just in order to make you guys uh, feel comfortable with the uh, transcription process that I have written it in Hindi also. So if I talk about the first phonetic symbol for consonants, then what is the first sound? The first symbol is basically for the sound P. You can see that there's a small P written between two slanted lines and that is the symbol for the sound P. As in P, pet, pole. As in means the examples of the sound can be seen in the initial letters of the three words that I'm speaking such as P, pet, pole. Now there's a problem that I have seen uh, in the students. They uh, call the Vandmala as ka kha ga gha. No, that's not ka kha ga gha. It's basically ka kha ga gha. In order to make ka, you combine ka and the sound of a. Then it becomes ka. It is not ka. It is basically ka. So. If you are reading the first symbol as pe, then that is wrong. You need to correct your pronunciation. It is pe, not pe. So now I would be discussing each of them in detail. As I have discussed, the first one is pe. The second one is b. B as in boat, bell, bat. The third one is t. The sound for the third symbol is t. Ten, tell, t. The fourth one is D, dog, doctor, door. The fifth one is Ch, chain, cheese. Sixth one is J, 
जून जोकर जेट सेवेंथ वन इज क कार कैटल कैरेक्टर नाउ इट इज अ लिटिल बिट कंफ्यूजिंग वेन यू रीड के ई टी टी एल ई कैटल सी ए आर कार इट मीन्स दैट सी एंड के दे बोर्ड प्रोड्यूस द साउंड ऑफ क सो यू हैव टू फोकस ऑन द साउंड नॉट ऑन द वर्ड्स सो द सिम्बल ऑफ सेवेंथ साउंड tells you that the sound which is produced is k the eighth one is g as in go gold get ninth one is f as in fly feather fun now some of the students call it feather so you have to know that the sound of r is silent uh, this is not like you cannot pronounce r every time so you will not call it feather you will call it feather the next one is v video van wine the 11th one is th as in think thunder throw the next one is d this that them so let's uh, take a quick revision from the sound 1 2 12 it's p b t d च ज क ग फ व थ द नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस रेस्ट ऑफ द ट्वेल्व फोनेटिक सिम्बल्स फॉर द कॉन्सनेंट्स सो द थर्टीन वन इज स एज इन सी सेल सोप द अदर वन इज ज जू जेब्रा जोन द नेक्स्ट वन इज श शैल शू शेंग Sixteenth one. Here you can notice that there is no Hindi letter that I have written because I couldn't uh, uh, think of something because the sound is so unique here. If you uh, pronounce directly the word vision, measure, television, so that sound of zh zh that is what this symbol is meant for. So this is for you can say the half of the j or y some combination like that. So that's vision zh. J. The sound is for the symbol J. Next seventeenth symbol is for the sound M, as in man, more, make. Eighteenth one is for the sound N, now, new, never. Nineteenth one is for Ang, uh, as in sing, song, thing. The next one is for the sound H, hat. Hello, hair. Now, do not call it hair. It is hair. The next one is for l, love, labor, lost. Next one is for r, red, rose, rope. Next one is for w, wet, watch, well. Last one. It's a little bit confusing because the symbol which we are writing is a small j, but the sound that it denotes is of Y, not J. It is basically Y, as in yes, yellow, yesterday. So let's uh, take a quick revision from thirteen to twenty-four. S, Z, Sh, J, M, N, Ang, H, L, R, V, Y. So you need to. Uh, Imitate these symbols and write and practice them again and again, and you need to uh, remember the sounds that they are making. So now let's discuss uh, the phonetic symbols for vowels in detail. So there are two terms uh, that you can see on your screen: the monophthongs and diphthongs. So what do you mean by them? So the first one, that is monophthongs, it basically means a single vowel. It means one, one single vowel. The other one is the diphthongs. Diphthong means a uh, double vowels, or it is also known as gliding vowel. So let's discuss the monophthongs. For now, the symbols for monophthongs in detail. So you can see, as you can see in the screen, that uh, there are uh, two. The first two symbols that are making the same voice, but the only difference between them is one is long and the other one is short. So the first symbol is for the sound a. Eh. The second symbol is for the sound a. Eh. Now first is longer, as in cat. 
fat rat so the sound for this symbol is a the second one it's again a kind of a similar sound but there's only one difference between them and that is the length because the first one is the longer and the second one is the shorter so the second one is a as in bed ten pen it's small now speak cat and speak bed you could feel the difference between both a so this is what the symbol is for the first one for the longer and the second one for the shorter next symbol is for the sound a it's an inverted e it's for the sound a as in teacher feather about now you do not call it teacher feather no it's teacher feather about the next symbol is for the sound e ship sit fit next one o oh. got caught on next one o oh. cup bus much next one o oh. good full foot next now the rest of the five symbols they consist of two dots if i talk uh, that if you have studied sanskrit then this is what we call visarg so these visarg denotes the long vowels it means that you have to stay a little bit longer here they are long the first one of them is a it denotes the sound a as in fa ka father now you do not call it far car father no it's fa ka father the other one is a uh. now you have already uh, started about two a uh. if i talk that there was a third one which was an inverted e so what is the difference between all these a uh? so the first one that we started as in teacher feather about it was a kind of a sound which stays a little bit but this one with visarg it stays for the longest for example bird curd dirty so you have to stay longest here and the third one also we have studied it was an inverted v as in cup bus much so it 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 lasts for the shortest time so one was with the with the inverted v it was the shortest then uh, with the middle length it is inverted e and then towards the end the visarg one is for the longest o uh, as in bird curd dirty the next symbol is for the sound e as in sheep reap deep the second last is for the sound o now it's as in saw floor call the last one is for the sound u it's shoot pool cool so let's give a quick revision to the uh, monophthongs that we have studied so far a e o i o a u a o e o u now let's discuss about the diphthongs so as i've told you that diphthongs are also known as the gliding vowels because they are uh, they are there are two vowels that uh, combine together to form this form of vowel that we call diphthong so let's study the first of them it's a combination of a and e so we call it i the symbol that you can see is of the sound i as in my fly die the next one is for ow as in cow bow now third one a it's a this is used the most in the english language because since now we have been calling it wait straight late no it's not the exact pronunciation it is not correct we call it wait straight late the next one is o as in show slow go the next one is e here fear near now again a reminder kindly pronounce it here fear near not here fear near that's wrong next one is oi as in boy toy joy the second last one is u as in pure sure cure now it must sound a little bit awkward to you because we have been calling it pure sure cure but if we go phonetically then it is pure sure cure the last one is ale it's here 
beer, care. Again, the same thing that I would like to remind you all. It's not hair, bear, care. It's hair, bear, care. So now that we have discussed the phonetic symbols for uh, consonants and vowels, now we need to practice it. So pronunciation of the letters of the English alphabet. The first one is A, then B, C, D, E, F, G, H, not H, it's H, I, J, J, not J. K, not K, L, M, N, O, not O, it's O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. I hope that the pronunciation of the letters of the English alphabet is clear to you. So kindly practice it again and again uh, to improve your pronunciation. Thanks a lot.